to my channel chemical engineering knowledge in this lecture we will discuss about the air pollution in the previous lecture we have discussed about the water pollution in this lecture we will discuss about air pollution so air pollution is the introduction of chemical particulate matter or biological matter that cause harm or discomfort to human or other living organism or cause damage to the natural environment or built environment and to atmosphere so actually air pollution is the introduction of uh, pollutant into the air introduction of pollutant like particulate matter uh, various gases like sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide uh, and uh, other particulate uh, matters dust particles into the air so the introduction of dust particle particulate matter and various gases into the air uh, is called the air pollution a substance in the air that can cause harm to human and the environment is known as air pollutant so those substances which can cause harm to human and environment is called air pollutant like sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide various gases particulate matters uh, etc are called the air pollutant causes of air pollution the carbon dioxide this happen because of deforestation and sa and fossil fuel burning so the burning of fuel like coal uh, oil etc the burning of petroleum uh, fuel and wood and some other fuel like coal produce a lot amount uh, a large amount of carbon dioxide gas and this carbon dioxide gas is the air pollutant and it causes the air pollution so the major source of air pollution is carbon dioxide gas co2 gas similarly and this uh, the increase in amount of this carbon dioxide uh, gas can occur due to deforestation or uh, burning the fossil fuel deforestation means the removal or cutting of forest is called deforestation other uh, air pollutant is sulfur dioxide gas due to burning of sulfur containing compound of fossil fuel for example the burning of coal produce a large amount of sulfur dioxide gas into the atmosphere so a large amount of sulfur dioxide gas are uh, uh, producing in our atmosphere uh, due to this the burning of coal and coal is a major source of sulfur dioxide gas sulfur oxide various dangerous to human at high concentration sulfur in the atmosphere is responsible for acid rain so the oxide of sulfur like sulfur uh, monoxide sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide sulfuric acid these uh, sulfur compound uh, is a is the main source of acid rain so acid rain is nothing but the dissolved gas in the uh, water which are present in the atmosphere so when the gas become dissolves in the uh, water which are present in the atmosphere uh, it produce acid rain which create a lot uh, a lot problem uh, to human being plant and animal consequences of air pollution so carbon dioxide is a good transmitter of sunlight but it also partially respect uh, respect and prior radiation go back from the earth into the space which produce the so called greenhouse effect that prevent a uh, dis uh, drastic cooling of the earth during the night so the carbon dioxide gas uh, is the major source of global warming and global warming is nothing but the uh, the increase in the average temperature of the earth surface is called global warming and the main source of global warming is carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide gas is also called the greenhouse gas so this carbon dioxide gas uh, produce global warming we will discuss about global warming in the coming lecture so carbon dioxide in the atmosphere produce global warming so this was just introduction about the air pollution in the coming lecture we will discuss about the land pollution 
Thank you very much for your attention. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe.